How's it going everyone? Welcome to Path to Wellness. Today's video is a recipe on great tasting, quick and easy plant-based pancakes. They're oil-free as well. So if you're not yet subscribed to the channel, go ahead and click the subscribe button and check the bell so you're notified of all my new videos. And I appreciate that. And before I get started, I want to mention real quick that I'm doing fat loss coaching and I'm doing a special for the new year. It's only $99 for two months of coaching. So if you're interested in that, go ahead and send me an email or you can message me on Facebook or Instagram. And those links are in the description box um, below the video. All right, so as I said, this is a nice, easy, quick recipe, good tasting plant-based pancakes, and here it is. All right, so the ingredients you're gonna need is two teaspoons of baking powder, one cup of sparkling water, a cup and a half of whole wheat flour, about a cup of plant milk, I used almond milk, a couple tablespoons of soaked chia seeds, and two good ripe bananas. And then for toppings, I do peanut butter and syrup or blueberries and syrup, and I also do bananas as well. So whatever you like on the, on the top there. And then I heated my griddle to 350, get that nice and hot. And first what you do is you get a big bowl and you mix the dry ingredients. So you take the whole wheat flour and you take the baking powder, and then you add the soaked chia seeds. And then you just mix those all together. And then what you do is you mash up the banana. So there's the dry ingredients. And you mash up the banana in a separate bowl. And then after you mash the banana up, you just put in the cup of plant milk. There's the almond milk. And you put in the cup of sparkling water. And you mix all that together. Once that's all mixed together, you just add the wet ingredients to the dry ingredients, and then you mix it all together. Now, this is inspired from the McDougall uh, book, Healthiest Diet on the Planet, but I did modify it. I don't add the salt, and I added the chia seeds, so it's a little different. But there you go. You mix that all together. Go ahead and heat those up for a few minutes on each side. You're all set. Add your favorite toppings. Thanks for watching, everyone. Give a thumbs up if you liked the video, and we'll be back soon. Bye-bye.